depleting forest cover has deeply impacted lives of forest dwellers. Therefore, development of forest communities is an essential step for development of forests and mitigating overexploitation of forest resources. The National Agriculture Commission NAC, recommended establishment of forest development corporations in each state to accelerate progress and development of the forestry sector. Gujarat State Forest Development Corporation Limited GSFDC, was established in August 1976 and registered under the Companies Act 1956. The corporation partners with the forest department in development and protection of the forest by improving the income of forest dwellers. It has played a pivotal role in indirectly supporting through limiting and organizing the dependence of forest communities on the forest resources. GSFDC Limited, through its activities, mainly focuses on improving the lives of forest dwellers and tribals. Operating for more than four decades, since its inception, GSFDC Limited has primarily worked towards proper and scientific harvesting of the forest products through forest dwellers. The corporation since its formation took up MFP procurement, storage and marketing as its main activity. Under the Gujarat Minor Forest Produce Trade Nationalization Act 1979, GSFDC has been appointed as the sole agent of government to purchase, sell and transport the MFPs in the state. Forest dependent communities earn their livelihood in their lean periods through MFP collection from the nearby forest areas. The corporation is working with a vision to achieve overall development of the ST and other traditional forest dwellers through sustainable usage of the surrounding natural resources. GSFDC Limited, with its main focus on resource management and community development, carries out activities such as MFP management, manufacturing, processing and marketing Ayurvedic medicines and wild honey, an integrated woodworking unit Vanil Udyog, Commercial Plantation Management, Panam Project and Ecotourism. Among all the activities of GSFDC Limited, MFP management is the main activity. The corporation operates in MFP collection in South Gujarat, North Gujarat, Central Gujarat and a few pockets in Saurashtra and Kutch. The major MFP collected by the corporation are Tendu leaves. Mahua flowers, Mahua seeds, different types of gums, Gugar, Tamarind, Lax, Harude, Baheda, Karan seeds, Neem seeds, Thani, and Amla. Corporation collects the MFPs directly from the forest dwellers and tribals, from self-help groups and cooperative societies of the local area. Tendu leaves has remained as one of the abundantly traded minor forest produce in scheduled areas, with a large volume and fluctuating market price. In the past, under the Gujarat Minor Forest Produce Trade Nationalization Act, GSFDC Limited, as the sole agent of the government, purchases Tendu leaves from the forest dwellers and tribals in scheduled areas, non-scheduled areas and forest sanctuaries. Divided into clusters or units, collectors from various scheduled areas bring the collected tendu to common place called FUD for auction. Following the collection, tendu units are sold with notified bags through tender and open auctions. With the implementation of the PESA and FRA, the ownership of minor forest producers now lies with the forest dwellers. This has empowered them with the right to sell their producers at will. Corporation collects the MFPs directly from the forest communities and tribals, from self-help groups and cooperative societies for which it provides commission to the collecting agents. The provisions of PESA Act Amendment 
GSFDC Limited continues the activities of purchase, storage and selling of Tendu leaves throughout the Gujarat state in pursuance of Rule 39 of Gujarat PESA Rules 2017. The scheme, Mechanism for Marketing of Minor Forest Produce through Minimum Support Price MSP, and Development of Value Chain for MFP announced by the Government of India is an important milestone in the field of MFP. GSFDC Limited, under its infrastructure project has 45 direct purchase centers operating in various districts and two Vanadhan Vikas Kendra at Ambaji for wild honey and at Chota Udaipur for Chirunji under the scheme of MSP for MFP. The corporation has furthermore expanded into several other areas of production and manufacturing based on forest producers. It runs a GMP certified processing unit at Poor for Ayurvedic formulations and processing of wild honey. Ayurvedic and herbal preparation project was envisaged under the brand name of Dhanvantari. Established in 1991, this processing unit is equipped with state-of-the-art processing machinery like disintegrating machine, pulverizer, edge runner and shifter machine and other required machinery for quality manufacturing. The activity was conceived as value addition and to ensure expansion and growth of the corporation and provide quality products to customers. Manufacturing of these Ayurvedic products is done in three processes. Firstly, the raw materials are cleaned and graded and then they are sent to powdering, pulverizing and mixing. Then finally, they are packed in airtight containers of 100, 200 and 500 grams. Stringent quality measures are followed during the processing, manufacturing and packing and an assurance of quality and purity. The unit manufactures 32 classical products in powder and tablet form namely Ashwagandha, Gokharu, Trifla, Rasayan Churn, etc. The corporation also has 9 patented products like Jambari Powder, Halchal Powder, Nay Chetana Powder, etc. for direct selling to end users. Apart from manufacturing of Ayurvedic medicines, the corporation also processes wild honey. Many of the components which render honey its purity are tested before purchase. Laboratories at the honey collection centers are equipped to ensure a quality check. Collected from the Apis Floria hive, a dwarf red honey bee, the honey from Kutch district contributes highest in the honey production. A major revenue generating activity for the locals, honey collection remains one of the major MFP in Kutch district. Benefiting from their traditional practices, the honey collectors sell honey at the corporation's collection centers. GSFDC Limited has two collection centers, one at Bhuj and another at Nakatrana in Kutch district. These centers are equipped with proper quality testing equipments and from procurement to transportation, stringent quality control measures are followed. The unit has a processing capacity of 1,50,000 kilograms per annum, sold under the brand name Dhanvantari. The automated honey treatment plant and bottle filling plant at the facility guarantees the best quality honey to the consumers. These products are available through corporations 18 retail outlets located in major cities and towns of the Gujarat state and also available online for the larger consumer base. As a part of its diversification, GSFDC Limited established an integrated woodworking unit, Vanil Udyog. Set up in 1979 at the total cost of 1.66 crore rupees, the unit started commercial production in the year of 1982 at Navtad village of Navsari district. The main objective of the woodworking unit is to provide employment and skill upgradation through various training programs 
to the local tribals. The woodworking unit manufactures wooden doors, window frames and shutters, scantlings plank, furniture from teak wood and superior secondary non-teak wood species. Vaniludyog has a state-of-the-art modern saw mill, conventional and solar seasoning plants, wood processing plant, doors and windows and furniture joinery unit, wood art and finishing sections. The corporation employs local tribals under the supervision of qualified and experienced engineers. Round timber procured from the forest department is sent to sawmill section for sawing purpose as per the requirement. From here the sawn timber is transferred to chemical treatment and seasoning plant for seasoning process. Emphasis is laid on conservation of precious teak wood by promoting usages of treated non-teak wood timber by making it more or less comparable to teak wood. After treatment and seasoning, wooden sizes are sent to woodworking sections and from here the same semi-furnished sizes are transferred to furniture and assembly section for manufacturing. The final products of ready furniture are commuted to the dispatch section where entire marketable finished products are kept for dispatch. The factory outlet at the manufacturing premise is designed at par with contemporary furniture showrooms and displays an array of its products. The wonderful wood world of Vanil Udyog beckons the discerning users who will not compromise on geniuses and quality while remaining price conscious. The unit supplies its finished products to various government departments. The government of Gujarat has issued resolutions to procure wooden products manufactured by Vanil Udyog to encourage and develop the unit. The corporation's main clients are of Gujarat State Police Housing Corporation Limited, Public Works Department, another government and semi-government departments of the state government and a host of public and private institutions. Under Vanil Udyog, the renovation work of all government offices is also undertaken by allotting turnkey projects by a tender procedure for renovation of offices, conference room, building including the work relating to the interiors, civil and electrical work which also includes the audio-visual system. Towards its objective of plantation and development of forests. The corporation began Panam Irrigated Plantation Project in 1988. The forest area that was once managed by the forest department was later leased out to GSFDC Limited for tree plantation. Panam Irrigated Plantation Project deals in planting commercially important species on 6,194.7 hectares of degraded forest area, falling in 11 villages of Godra Taluka and 13 villages of Shehra Taluka in Panchmahal district. The plantation is done by means of flow as well as lift irrigation from the main canals of Panam and its distributaries. From 1988 to 2002, plantations were taken by GSFDC in the project area mainly of the eucalyptus hybrid and other tree species like bamboo, desi babul, subabul, teak casuarinas, kher and neem. Looking at the commercial viability of eucalyptus, the corporation decided to take up large-scale eucalyptus plantations. Later in 2003-04, the corporation took up clonal eucalyptus plantations for better wood production. The new techniques of eucalyptus clonal propagation is based on indoor clonal gardens. The growth of the clonal eucalyptus plantation has proved to be better owing to its straighter bowl, without knots and uniform growth, as compared to the seed origin. So with this result, corporation decided to take up clonal plantations in large scale. Corporation auctions the standing tree plots in open auction to speed up and systemize felling sequence. A large number of traders participate in this auction and bid for plots of various size and value. Eucalyptus is commercially viable for its widespread use in paper industry. 
It also is one of the important raw materials for the plywood and packing industry. Under the project, the corporation also carries out plantation for medicinal plants on various plots, thereby providing employment opportunities to the local people. GSFDC Limited is focused on tapping into traditional knowledge and skill sets of tribal and to convert the tribal wisdom into a viable economic activity. Operations are carried out as per prescriptions of the approved working plan of Panam project. The corporation also maintains high-tech forest nurseries at various locations for clonal eucalyptus. Clonal technology offers great potential for propagating selected trees with desirable traits. The corporation also ventured into ecotourism in the year 2021 through its initiative of providing boat ride in Panchamuni Lake at Kevadia near Statue of Unity. The ferry boat service has since been a popular recreational activity for the tourists visiting here. Ecosystem around the lake is rich in flora and fauna, which makes the experience of visitors a wholesome nature retreat. Continuing with the successful ecotourism initiative, the corporation in the year 2020-2021 has inaugurated Vanil Eco Den at Navtar village in Navsari district. Mainly created with the objective of environmental education and environmental awareness, the Vanil Eco Den is a lush forest retreat. Various zones like adventure zone, wilderness zone, tribal zone, medicinal garden, butterfly zone and cycling track make the visit here a memorable experience. Standing true to its objective, this ecotourism site has been a popular spot for recreational and educational day trips for the school students. Stepping out of the concrete classrooms, the students visiting here connect with Mother Nature and understand its bounties through fun and frolic. For the nature lovers, there is two kilometers nature trail created to provide a brief experience of being in a forest. Lush bamboo breaks and tall standing trees make this brief walk a soothing experience for the visitors. For the weekend getaways, there are well-kept and spacious eco-cottages for a comfortable stay in nature's lap and a well-equipped dining facility makes it a memorable stay for the nature enthusiast. GSFDC Limited, since its inception, has merged into a profit-making corporation. In the year 2017-18, the corporation has shared 39.67 crore rupees profit to Timru Leaf Collectors. Individually, 33,000 collectors have been benefited in 13 districts of Gujarat state from the activities done on behalf of the Gram Sabhas. GSFDC is paying handsome dividend per share since last four years to its shareholders. GSFDC works to eliminate exploitation of forest dwellers, the tribal communities, the people who survive on the forest produces. It is a venture with the vision of development of forests and the forest communities. GSFDC Limited cares for the forests, for the forest produce and the forest dwellers.